Ah, oh, the theater. I relate to this place so much. Oh, you're an actor? Oh, no, no, no. <laughs> Not at all. I'm a biologist. But you said that you relate to this place. I do. Very much so. It makes me feel like I'm at work. And I do love the labs. Wait, how do you relate the theater to a laboratory? Well, not the lab so much, but more so what I study. Say again? The theater isn't at all like the lab I work in, but it easily compared to what I study. Cells! Cells? You mean the little blocks that make up living organisms? Precisely. You'd be surprised at how similar those microscopic objects are to this room we're in. Please, do explain. Well, we do have a good 20 minutes left before the play starts. How acquainted are you with cell structure? Not much. Expected as much. First, we shall cover the basics. Now, cells are, of course, microscopic. They interlock, forming all living structures. Cells also make up non-living things, but those are called prokaryotic and aren't as detailed as the living ones, characterized by their nuclei. The eukaryotic cells, as they're called, divide into two groups, plant and animal, both very similar. The main control center for these cells is this nucleus. Am I going too fast for you? Well, actually, great. Now, that nucleus is, like I said, the control center for the cells. It directs all of the individual organelles contained in the cells. It controls all of the activity. Now think, in this room, in this play we're about to see, what sounds like that? I can't think of anything. Wait! The director! He controls all the aspects of this place. Spot on! The director and nucleus are one and the same. They both control everything else. Oh, I see. This is how you're comparing the place to a cell. Please, go on. Gladly. Now, the director's right-hand men are the stage manager and the tech manager. The stage manager, taking commands from the director, supervises the actors and crew, and controls production. Therefore, I can compare him to the endoplasmic reticulum. A big word I know, but it sits right next to the nucleus. It's right-hand man, and controls proteins and lipids. Now, the tech manager is in control of the techies, as they have come to be called by stagehand. But we'll get to that later. The tech manager tells the techies what to do, and in turn they build requires scenes and props. The tech manager, being in charge of construction, can be directly compared to the nucleolus. The nucleolus is inside the nucleus and controls construction in the cell. So these three organelles are the main parts of a cell, while the three managers are important to the theater, respectively. Tech manager. Wonderful. What about the actors and actresses? Slow your roll there, Trigger. We're not there yet. Remember the tech crew I mentioned? Well, they're the ones who build sets and props for the play. And they take orders from the tech manager. Now, in a cell, ribosomes are a free-moving organelle that help in manufacturing, mainly proteins. And, coincidentally, the nucleolus controls ribosomes. Sorry, but I couldn't help overhearing all of that. This cell comparison stuff is pretty cool. I know, right? Oh, it gets better now. Plants and animal cells have a few different organelles between them. For instance, the vacuole. They are large and primary in plant cells. Animal cells have them too, but they're significantly smaller. A vacuole's main purpose is temporary storage of almost anything. What or who stores things on a stage? Uh... Prop manager! Very good! The prop manager stores things made by the techies, as well as everything virtually needed by the actors. For this reason, it can be compared to a vacuole. Wait, I, I thought that was called the cytoplasm. N not exactly. The, the vacuole is an organelle for storage. The cytoplasm is a liquid that everything floats in. A so-called stage for the organelle. Oh, and the stage, which supports the actors, managers, and props, can compare to the cytoplasm. Understand the difference now? Yeah, more or less. Now, by no means are my comparisons limited to the stage and its contents. For instance, look around. This auditorium has walls, does it not? And along these walls, what controls entrances? Security? Not exactly. The ticket sellers! Very good. Ticket sellers maintain what enters and exits here. Alternatively, there is a part of the cell like this. Oh, uh, the, the, the cell mum mim Membrane! Yep. The cell membrane controls substances entering and leaving the cell, similarly to the ticket sellers. Now, plant cells have even more in their borders. Just outside the plasma membrane is something called the cell wall. 
It's an inflexible barrier, and it basically supports the cell. Like the auditorium walls! Simple, isn't it? Now, there are a few more organelles. Next, the Golgi apparatus. The Golgi body is in charge of organizing and sorting protein for the cell. Now, what can we compare that to? Well, the director. Not really. The director gives commands and keeps everyone on task, making him more like the nucleus. Now, think. What comes before the rehearsal? Auditions! Oh! The auditioner is like the Golgi body because he sorts the actors and organizes the props. Precisely. Now, what do they need to keep all of those lights working? A generator? Yep, a generator. A generator provides the stage with mechanic energy. Now, in a plant cell, things called chloroplasts convert sun into energy for the cell. A pretty simple comparison. Now, wait. You've mentioned several organelles that are plant-specific. But you haven't mentioned anything about organelles specific to animal cells. Very good observation, my dear fellow. In fact, there is one single organ that animal cells have not found in plant cells. That is the lysosome. It deals in digesting food and worn out organelles, bacteria, and viruses. Likewise, a janitor cleans up after everyone. Now finally, there's the... Excuse me. Could you guys just wait, like, five more minutes? But we're the important ones here! And that brings me to my final point. Actors and actresses are all too much like mitochondria. They keep the energy alive and flowing and keep everyone going. Uh, now please, continue with the show.